Peace, peace. This is Ampu Ra with another another episode of Astro Travel. Okay, in the last video, I had two experiences in one month of July. One was on uh, July 12th, 2013. I had uh, came out of a dream, opened my eyes, and I saw this weird type creature. And um, and I also explained in that video, you might see some things sometimes. Um, and then in July, um, 22nd, I spoke about how I saw these three ladies and, um, I cursed them out <laughs> because I knew it was these shadow beings. Like I said, they can shape shift, they can manipulate your mind, they can take the forms of others. Um, they very powerful. They can get into your thoughts. They know your fears, so they use that to your to their advantage. And um, I must say that we are much stronger than they are. Trust me. So if you're having these experiences, you don't need to be scared because they are more scared of us than we are scared of them. It's just like if you you go in your kitchen. And <laughs> you see a mouse, you know, your first reaction is to jump real quick and you get scared. But that mouse is scared as hell of you. And that mouse is going to run. It's like the same concept. And, um, yeah, because every time, you know, I have these out of body experiences. When I come out my body. They run like hell. So I know for sure. that They are scared of me. I mean, we have the power. We have the power over them. But that's the thing. You know, these shadow beings and these negative entities, you know, they don't want you to know that they exist in these realms so they can keep taking advantage of you. You know, they say that the greatest trick that the devil pulled was to convince the world that he doesn't exist. It's the same thing with these shadow beings. They don't want people knowing the truth. And I think once you start exposing the truth, the more people come conscious and, and, and be aware of this type of information, it kind of takes away their power. But they are very, they're very tricky. They use, they use mind tricks. They use tricks with the mind. They can manipulate things right in front of you in these realms. And you get kind of confused. They will throw you off, you know? And then once you come out this out-of-body experience and you sit there and you think about it, you're like, oh, they just fooled me. They tricked me again. They're very good at that. They're very tricky. You know, they'll take the form of somebody else just to throw you off, you know. But, um, yeah, so that's what happened in that last video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what happened on August, August 4th. 2013, that was a Sunday. Okay. Uh, it was around 1 a.m. and the vibration started and it was very light. Like I said, sometimes it's more powerful than others. Sometimes it's very light. Sometimes the vibration is very strong. Okay. So when I looked to the side, I saw a shadow zip by like a flash. So I decided to wake up and use the bathroom because I felt like if I left my body, I didn't want any interruptions. So when I went back to bed, the vibration was low again. Um, but it was like if I had control of it. And I was fully awake. So I meditated for like 10 minutes and I went back into a sleep state. The vibration had got strong and I was able to leave my body. Okay. And when I came out, I saw my stepson and my nephew. And I was kind of confused. Because my stepson was in North Carolina at that time. And my nephew, he doesn't live with me. You know, his father lives in Delaware. And he was in Delaware at that time because it was in the summer. And my girl, she was in the bed. And she told me that she was scared. Like, again, now these beings, they took the form of my stepson and my nephew. See what I'm saying? They tried to throw you off. They tried to confuse you. And I was like, shot. I was a 
sitting there thinking, like, what? What's going on? I'm saying to myself, like, what's going on? Like, so, you know, my girl was, she was, she was in the, but I left my body, but I didn't realize it that I left my body at that time. I was just sitting up in the bed and it was real dark. It was real dark. Okay. And, um, I remember when I came on my body, the room was full of fear. See, that's what they like to do. They like to tap into your emotions. They make, they want to make you scared. They want to make you scared. So when I looked around, thing, and I looked around the room, things began to fall, like off the dresser, and you know, and I looked, you know, they began to fall, like if someone was knocking them down, but I couldn't see the being that was doing it. All right, and I remember I. I grabbed my Herkima diamond. A Herkima diamond is also a crystal. It's a very powerful crystal. It looks just like a diamond. It has these nice, nice cuts on it. It's really small. A Herkima diamond. I grabbed that and I chanted that uh, that I wasn't afraid, and that I that I'm powerful, and that I am a god. And they left. And I remember I, I woke up, and when I woke up, it was around three a.m. Okay, it's always the same time. It's always the same time. Always. And um, the only thing I did different that night is what I had listened to some binary beats before I went to sleep. Like I said, I was trying new different ways, different techniques. And that's another tool that you can use too. It might work for you, these binary beats. You could download them free on the, on the, on the internet. Or you could just purchase them. And I got that idea from this guy named Robert Monroe. And um, he wrote, he was like one of the first ones to write books about uh, astral travel and uh, out-of-body experience. He wrote like a couple of books. I read the first two. And it was amazing. It was amazing the things that he's seen, the things that he's done. Very good information. And um, yes, he... He would use these beats, these uh, different sounds. So what is it? It's like two coherent sounds of nearly similar frequencies. And um, they are presented one on each ear with a stereo headphones or speakers. And um, so it's like these, uh, these like vibration type sounds. It's supposed to play with your brain waves. And it kind of does the same concept of, you know, it's very relaxing, so then your body will be asleep, and then your mind will be awake because it kind of messes up. It messes with the brain waves within your brain, and um, and these sounds are supposed to make you have more uh, out of body experiences more often. So, and I wrote here, I'm going to use different methods. Also, the science of breath. I read this book called The Science of Breath. I think a yogi had wrote it. And um, and it's called the science of breath. The method that I use is called the six three six method. So you'll breathe in, count in six seconds, hold for three seconds, and then release for six seconds, and you'll keep going six three six three six three six three. And um, the science of breath is a very good book. Um, it's very good to practice different breathing techniques. You know, you know, we just breathe. You know, our body just breathes naturally on its own with no control. But, you know, you just taking oxygen and as much as oxygen that you need to live. But if you breathe a certain way, you can also heal yourself. And it's also good to practice with within meditation. Um, if you think about it, viruses and bacteria that lives within the body, they can't live in an oxygenated uh in an oxygenated body you can't live oxygen kills it so if you think about it if you produce a lot of oxygen within your body you kind of like kill off these bacteria and viruses that's within you okay and it's a very good technique to use when you think about it your breathing changes when a woman uh is a uh, going through like giving birth she has to breathe a certain way you know you take these classes women take these classes to breathe a certain way so it's techniques in, in his breath 
uh, when you angry, you breathe a certain way. It does something, you know, to your heart rate. When you excited, you breathe a certain way. You when you when you fear and when you, like, when you got fear in you, you breathe a certain way. So breathing technique is another good tool to use. You know, so um, yeah. But like I said before, you know, these beans they they very tricky. They very very tricky. So don't let them fool you like how they fooled me, you know. But now I'm more conscious. They can't fool me no more. I know they game. I know they game. And I'm pretty sure they're very upset that uh, and that I'm sharing this type of information out there like that because they don't like that. They like to keep the dumb, deaf, and blind out there so they can keep feeding on y'all. And what's it today? Is July 16th, 2015, which is crazy. I actually traveled last night. Sure did. And uh, it was a very short one, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that on this one. I want to keep these uh, these videos in order for my journal, but I'll get to it, though. So, um, so I just want to just, you know, get all these uh, these old experiences out the way. And try to catch up to what's happening now. You know, and if you're following me, you know, and you're going through this journey with me, we're just going to learn together. And if you're out there and you're actual traveling and you just actual traveling for the first time and, and it's scaring you a little bit, just keep watching these videos and just listen to my experiences and maybe it can help you out. Uh, I listen to other people' uh, experiences on YouTube, and it helped me out. I learned a lot from other people' experiences. So this is what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing. It's putting the information out there, trying to wake people up to let them know that this physical realm is not the only thing that's around us right now. All right, it's a lot of hidden mysteries out there. And you too can uh, tap into these things. All right, so I'm going to leave y'all on that note. Uh, my name is Ampu Ra. Another episode of Astral Travel. Hotep. Peace.